This is an overview of ServiceNow's employee profile as well as our org chart capabilities. First, let's talk about the enhanced employee profile. The employee profile allows you to aggregate employee information across departments as well as systems. Admins have the ability to configure what fields are displayed and they can also add additional widgets such as HRSD profile widgets or even custom widgets to the employee profile. Employees also have the ability to personalize their profile with a photo, a background image, a bio, as well as specify their preferred pronoun of choice. You also have the ability to drive actionability with relevant information, such as the employee presence from the direct integration with Microsoft Teams, or as well as clickable action fields to initiate email, connect on Teams, or even open the full-blown org chart. The employee profile allows you to improve employee productivity by providing a single page view of all employee data. Employees have the ability to track and manage their personal or work in information from one single page, and they also can make changes to their profile data directly from the portal without having to place a separate request. It also drives effective peer-to-peer -peer collaboration. Employees can easily access data on their peers when searching, including things like their availability. They can also easily view their peers' manager hierarchy, both direct and indirect, as well as important information such as their contact details or work location as well. You can also drive personalization on your employee portal. You have the ability to allow employees to personalize their profile and manage what information is displayed publicly. You can also refine the similar user machine learning algorithm that's used for content recommendations, utilizing employee profile data, leading to that better user experience. The org chart functionality within ServiceNow allows employees to search for employees or even specific keywords utilizing type ahead search. There's an improved user experience as well as actionability. When you select the employee, you can decide what additional information and actions are displayed on the employee card. It also displays manager hierarchy as well as direct reports. You have the ability to choose what primary information is displayed as well as secondary information. So let's go ahead and take a look at our employee profile and our org chart in action. I'm logged in as Maria, who is a manager within the organization. We're first going to come to her profile here and take a look at that employee profile. Here, Maria has uploaded her own personal photo as well as a fun background photo. She has the ability to come in and edit the cover image or also edit the profile image. If I had the Microsoft Teams integration turned on, you would also be able to see the Microsoft Teams status if that has been configured. From here, she has the ability to drill into her org chart, but let's take a look at a couple of other profile information pieces. On her overview page is where she can see key work details, such as her title, her location, as well as contact information. And again, we've given her the ability to come in and edit things like her nickname, her preferred pronoun, as well as her bio. This is also where she has the ability to decide if she wants to make this public to users that are viewing her profile uh, within the org chart here or not. Down below, she can also see some of her personal details as well as contact information and also employment details, depending on how much you choose to bring in. As we scroll further on down the page, this is where Maria can also see who her direct manager is, who her direct reports are, as well as other matrix reports, and maybe even other coworkers that she's interacted with. Her contacts is where she's able to come in and add in maybe new emergency contacts um, or even beneficiaries. And then her content preferences is an example of a custom widget that we've put on the profile. So this is where you can allow users to be able to say what they wanna maybe subscribe to for maybe marketing emails and have that connect with um, another system of record out there. Let's look at a couple of other tabs of information across the employee profile. This career tab here will be configured and displayed if you have ServiceNow's talent development solution turned on. So it can bring in the skills data as well as learning achievements and resume or LinkedIn profile experience as well as other job experience from our talent development solution. 
As we navigate to the work items tab, this is where you can allow managers to be able to add in delegates to handle things like tasks and approvals if they're going on vacation. Um, it can also display things like perhaps their assets. The benefit and rewards tab is an example of how information can be pulled over from existing systems of record, such as your time and attendance system or your HCM system. Um, so we have pre-built integrations with a number of vendors like Oracle, Workday, Success Factors, as well as Kronos, where this information can be automatically pulled in here. So this is where Maria is able to see her PTO balances. She can request PTO. She can also come she can also come in and see things like her latest paychecks and a quick information about those net amounts, as well as total rewards information if this is coming in from your HCM system as well. Her My Team is where she can drill in and see a little bit more information about her team and again access her org chart from here. And lastly, the Documents tab is where she can display uh, key documents of record. And again, this tab is typically only displayed if you have our employee document management solution. So this is where she has the ability to come in and she can download previous documents that have been generated for her, as well as find certain documents also. Now let's go in and take a look at some of our org chart capabilities. When Maria drills into her org chart here, this is where she can see some of that primary information that is displayed about her. We're going to go in as an administrator in just a second and take a look at configuring some of these different pieces. So this is where she can see what department, location, as well as contact information. Down below, she has her direct reports, as well as other matrix reports that can be managed within the application as well. She can also see who she rolls up to. Now, she also has the ability to search for individuals. So if she starts to search for a specific individual here, Harry, this is where she can go and look at her HR representative, Harry, here. And she has the ability to come in and view Harry's profile. You'll notice how that security is built in. So Maria is only able to see a couple of things of information about, the, about Harry that is chosen to be displayed public. Going back to her direct reports here, if we take a look at Emily, and we drill into Emily's profile, this is where Maria has the ability to view a little bit more information on Emily because she is her manager. She can also come in and she can take action on Emily, whether that's sending her an email, calling, maybe she wants to create a journey for her as well as connect on Teams. So these actionable items are configurable to your organization as well. Now let's go in as administrator and take a look at configuring some items from the profile as well as the org chart. I flipped over as an administrator and within my filter navigator, if I type in employee profile, this is where I can see some of the different pieces that I can set up on the employee profile. So let's first go in and take a look at our header UI configuration. The first thing we have the ability to configure is what format the primary user information is displayed in. So for example, do I want their first name and last name, their last name and first name, or their first, middle, and last name to be displayed? Again, flipping back to where this is within the employee profile, this is where I would configure this piece here. Then I have the ability to choose what fields I want to display as part of the secondary user information. So in my example, we have the title, department, and location. And again, just flipping back is where you can see that secondary information. And then the third piece that we have the ability to define is if we want to display that user presence status and if we do, where are we connecting it? So our channel here is going to be Microsoft Teams, and this is where I have the ability to choose that present status. The next section that we are going to go to is overview UI configuration. So this is where I have the ability to choose what tabs are going to display within the overview. And within each of these different tabs, I'm going to have some additional options. So I've just drilled into this work details, and this is where I have the ability to choose what I want the layout to be, what I want the section visibility to be, and what I want my section fields to be. So for example, I have the ability to decide if I want to display this information in one column or two columns, if I want this to be available via the desktop only, or whether I want it to be available on the uh, mobile app only, or if I want it to be available on both. What order I want it to appear first. And then down below is where I have the ability to define my section fields that I would like to display from the system, as well as the icons and the orders in the table that it's pulling from. 
So again, just to flip back and show you that preference, we're configuring this overview tab right now, and we're configuring the work details within this overview tab. So you can see that we have the work details set up to be uh, two columns here. We have our icons that are displayed for each of those different fields and the fields that we're actually pulling in here. The next thing that we have the ability to configure are the various tabs that are going to display across the top here. So in our example, we have career, work items, benefits, reward, my team, and documents. So again, if we flip over as the administrator, this is where I have the ability to configure what additional tabs I would like to pull in here. If we drill into a tab like our benefits reward here, this is also where I can decide if I want these to be accessible by the employee only, maybe the employee and manager, um, if I want to allow the employee to control visibility, and if this is pulling from a widget, what widget it's going to pull from. If we drill into one of those widget mappings, you'll notice that you have a bunch of different parameters on who you want that to be accessible by. So I gave the example of employee and manager, but you can see here that uh, there's a lot of flexibility and even defining if you want to be able to utilize user criteria or not. And then if I select user criteria, I have the ability to add in that user criteria below. Within the org chart card configuration is where I have the ability to display what fields I want to include on the primary display as well as the secondary display. So the primary display is what I'm going to see without clicking into an org chart card. The secondary display is what I'm going to see when I click into that org chart card. So when I click on Emily here, this is where I'm going to be able to decide what information and also what actions I want to display on that org chart card. If we flip back over as the admin, this is where I have the ability to define what primary fields I want to display as well as secondary display fields and again, the order as well as the icon. The action group is where I can define what actions I want to be able to take. So if we drill into this action group here, this is where I have the ability to see those actions that I was able to go in and select when I was Maria and I clicked on the, the three dots to take action to Emily. So I have the ability to define what actions I want them to be able to take as well as who those actions are visible to. So are they visible to everyone that looks at Emily? Um, are they visible to managers? Are they visible to just her direct report um, or to all except that self? Lastly, to give you an idea of some of the different actions that can be taken um, within the org chart here, if I go in to add in a new action, this is where I can see if I want them to be able to uh, ask the person if they need help, perhaps assign learning, uh, create a journey, email the employee or the entire team, um, as well as many different actions. So you can utilize out of the box actions that we have, or you also have the ability to create your new actions within the system here as well. That was an overview of ServiceNow's employee profile and org chart capabilities. If you are looking for more information, please visit our Employee Center product hub. This is where we have additional demos, deeper dives on feature functionality, and it's also where we post new events, trainings, release information, implementation guides, and more. Please feel free to visit the URL or scan the QR code to get directly to the site.